Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will test the stability of LTI systems whose impulse responses are given to us. Fine. So let's solve the first question. So here the impulse response h of n is given as it is equal to 0.2 to the power n into u of n. Let's talk about u of n. So basically you might be knowing like u of n is equal to 1 when when n is greater than equal to 0 right and 0 when n is smaller than 0. I hope you are aware about this right. So just keep this in mind and just keep this formula also in mind like infinite geometric series sum formula summation of c to the power n okay over the limit n ranging from 0 to infinity this is equal to what 1 divided by 1 minus c if mod of c is greater than 0 and is smaller than 1. So these two concepts are required to solve this particular question. Is it clear? So let's start solving this. So we know right this is what it should be it should be what smaller than infinity then we can say the system is what stable. So summation summation of absolute value of h of n over the limit n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity this is equal to what so summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity fine absolute value of h of n so h of n replace with this so absolute value of 0 0.2 to the power n into u of n fine and we already know that u of n is only defined for n greater than equal to 0 so it is not making any sense to keep n is equal to what minus infinity to minus one term right so you can write this as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity and between this range the value of u of n is what 1 so this will basically become 0 0.2 to the power n right fine now let's move further now this formula you have to apply see in the place of c what is there 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 lies between 0 and 1 also fine so this formula you have to apply see the same thing is there right so it will become what 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2 which is basically nothing but 1.25 so 1.25 so basically it is what a finite value so you can say since since summation okay limit is what n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity summation of h of absolute value of h of n is what here smaller than infinity smaller than infinity it means system is what stable system is stable hope it is clear to you fine let's see the next example so we have here h of n which is equal to what 4 to the power n into u of minus n. So what is present here u of minus n. Now tell me if you see u of minus n it will be 1 and it will be 0 when it will be 1 when n is smaller than equal to 0 and when n is greater than 0 it will be 0. You should aware about this. Fine. So let's start solving it. So this will become what? Summation. So we already know n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. And instead of absolute value of h of n, you have to place this. So it will become what? Absolute value of 4 to the power n into u of minus n. Fine. Now you already know u of minus n is, is what? giving some value when n is what equal to minus infinity to 0 right so you can write this as summation n is equal to minus infinity to 0 because this is 1 when n is smaller than equal to 0 so that's why we are writing it like this so it will become what and u of minus n between this range is what value is 1 so you can write it as 4 to the power n 
now to bring it in this form currently it is n is equal to minus infinity to 0 i want uh, to change the limit okay so if so this will become what summation i want it to change from n is equal to 0 to infinity so simply you have to change the value of n by minus n so this becomes this all right now this becomes what summation n is equal to 0 to infinity so you can write it as what 1 by 4 to the power n correct or in a simple way you can write it as summation summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 upon 4 to the whole power n now it comes in this form right and 1 by 4 lies between 0 and 1 right it satisfies this condition also so if this if this condition is satisfied it means what or simplify more n is equal to 0 to infinity this becomes basically 0 0.25 to the power n now clear now apply this formula so it will become what it will become 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.25 which will give you what 1.3333 fine so here also you can say since you can say since summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of h of n is what is smaller than infinity so you can say system is stable system is what system is stable system hope this example is also clear to you just aware about some geometric series formulas and u of n characteristic fine let's see the next next example so here impulse response is given as h of n is equal to 0 0.2 to the power n into u of minus n plus 3 to the power n into u of minus n we already know the character of u of minus n so this u of minus n is what 1 when n is smaller than equal to 0 and this is what 0 when n is greater than 0 we already know about this character and one more thing you have to remember like summation of c to the power n over the limit n ranges from 0 to infinity is what infinity when if the value of c is what greater than 1 so this formula also you should remember then it is easy for you to solve this kind of examples okay so let's let's solve it so this will become what summation of n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of h of n so place instead of h of n it will be what this right plus 3 to the power n into u of minus n hope this is clear to you fine okay now let's move further and break it up so u of minus n we already know it is defined for n is equal to minus infinity to 0 right so you can write it as summation n is equal to minus infinity to 0 minus infinity to what 0 for this term and for this term also and u of minus n between this is what 1 1 so you can write simply this plus summation n is equal to minus infinity to 0 3 to the power n clear now same do the same just change the try to change the range bring it in this form so if you bring it in this form what will happen so n is equal to 0 to infinity so simply now it will become 0 0.2 to the power minus n same goes for this also now n is equal to 0 to infinity so 3 to the power minus n clear hope it is clear to you now you can write the same thing as summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 divided by 0 0.2 to the power n right plus n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 divided by 3 to the power n 
okay or simply saying you can write this as summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 divided by 0 0.2 to the whole power n okay plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 divided by 3 to the whole power n clear fine now if you see this particular case this particular case so this will give you what this will become 5 right so this will give you basically summation n is equal to 0 to infinity okay 5 to the power n plus here you will get what summation n is equal to 0 to infinity okay 0 0.333 to the power n so for this case for this case see the value of c is what greater than 1 so apply this formula so when you apply this formula it is saying like it will give you what infinity so this particular term will convert into what infinity plus this for this the last formula is required in last question we applied right 1 divided by 1 minus c why because the value of c is what what of c is greater than 0 and is smaller than 1 that is why so here it will become what 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.333 not making any sense to solve it because we already have infinity so we can say directly it is equal to what infinity so here in this case what happened actually in this case this particular term n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of h of n is what is equal to infinity it becomes equal to infinity if it is equal to infinity system is what unstable system system is unstable hope it is clear to you let's go for the last example so we have h of n is equal to 0 0.3 n into u of n plus 2 th to the power n into u of n so you should be knowing u of n when it will be 0 when it will be 1 when n greater than equal to 0 when n is what smaller than 0 am i right clear fine now solve it so this will become what summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity okay mod of this whole thing 0 0.3 to the power n into u of n plus 2 to the power n into u of n fine now we already know about u of n it is defined only for n greater than equal to 0 so it is not making any sense to do a sum from n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity just change the limit it will become what start from n is equal to 0 to infinity and the value of u of n is what 1 between this right it will become 1 and 1 so it will be simple 0 0.3 to the power n plus if you go for second term n is equal to 0 to infinity it is what 2 to the power n apply this formula when you apply this formula what will happen what will happen here so this is what 2 here right means c greater than 1 2 is greater than 1 so this particular term will give you what infinity so when it will give you infinity and whatever it will be i don't care infinity plus whatever it will give you what infinity only right so here this will become equal to infinity so you can say the system is what unstable system unstable system so see if you want to solve this term just apply the old last formula uh, 1 divided by 1 minus c because here the value of c is what 0 0.3 which lies between 0 and 1 so you can apply this formula and you can show otherwise this much is enough clear i hope these things are pretty much clear to you fine so if you have any doubt in these four numericals you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching